I gotta take a pic, my hair's so sick. Gonna go and grab my selfie stick. How's this thing go? Hold up. Meet you upstairs. Yes, you know, I went ahead and, you know, I went to the store to get some of my vegan food, because, you know, how I deserve a medal for all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, medal. Medal of Honor, like, the Nobel Peace Prize, or whatever, for saving the environment, because I'm vegan. But anyway, I was on my way home, and it's like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like super rainy out there. It's raining outside. I was driving home, and it just started raining. And like, I was gonna make some food, but then I decided to make a video. Cause, you know... Cause, you know, I figured I'd make some food because I'm hungry. And like, oh, we got some land pulls from the Goya. We got some walnuts. We got some shelled walnuts. We got some chia tea that I put in a bowl for no reason. I wanted to get it all watery. Because they hold a lot of water. They gel up. You know, that's what the chia seeds do. Is that they get water, you, they get water and then they get all jellified. So. So that's that. We got. We got some organic brown rice. Because we vegan. We don't vegan now. I still don't know what the heck I'm gonna make. So we got some kale. If you want some kale, we got some of that. I heard somebody said something about pinto beans and that they're very pretty great. So we got some of them. Got some pinto beans. It's pretty good, I'm sure. You know, as long as they're organic. Everything's got to be organic if we're saving the environment now. We got small. Oh, we already looked at that one. That's some car keys. That's some all-purpose flour. And I got some. I don't know where it went. To be honest. Oh yeah, got some instant corn massa. I don't want to say that, but that's like. I don't know. I looked at that and I was like, that must be super vegan because that's not even wheat. Because everybody eats like grain and then like wheat. Flour, but that's like that's like super vegan. That's not. It's like corn flour because nobody else eats corn flour. You know, we got some more assorted assorted beans because we vegan. You know what else we got here? All right, all right. We got a bunch of coconut milk, and. And I got some coconut oil, and I've never cooked with this before, and I have no idea what to do with it. So I'm just saying this might go, go out of control. Well, I think I should go buy, grab my camera stand, because I should probably go get that. You know, taking all these trips back and forth through the kitchen. Oh, yeah, and we got some homestyle noodles here. But I look through here... Let me see. Somewhere in here. See right there? They used eggs, man. You don't use eggs in my vegan food. I can't eat it now because there's eggs in it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be vegan anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go grab my camera stand thing. Hold up. So now we're back in my room. We're walking around here. Just gotta go find it. It was left on the floor or something. It's on my bed. Go ahead and pick that up. Alright. You know, you see, we moved it around a little bit. Not really. It's still a mess. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't really have anything to say, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm just, you know. You know, I'm just, you know, like, I'm screwing in the stand so you guys can see me make my awful vegan meal. Well, my, uh, freeform vegan meal. We got some green pepper, we got some jalapeno, jalapeno, we got some jalapeno, jalapeno, I don't know how to say it. Leave me alone, let me live my life. We got a bunch... Yeah, I bought it from Walmart. We got 
Oh, I must have got four packages of these here assorted beans. I really like assorted beans. They're like, they're like good, man. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the camera there. It's a mess. Just the way I like it. Got some messes here. I don't know. I, I, actually, I don't feel comfortable showing everybody the mess of the kitchens, and it's terrible. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, he's nasty. And I guess I am nasty, and you're, you're entitled to your opinion and all that, but I'd like for you to be nice. Oh, not from like a day or so ago. I was like, oh, it's definitely dried off. Come get, get. Hmm? You guys want to eat that? Oddly enough, that's from oatmeal. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oatmeal. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's almost, that looks almost good enough to eat off of. <clears throat> so let's figure out this extra virgin coconut oil because... If it's not virgin, it's probably used, right? Is that what that means? I certainly I have no idea. But what we're gonna do is... Uh, okay, we'll keep that on. We gotta open up the coconut oil. We gotta open up the coconut oil here, just opening it here. Open that. Now, I'd assume it's... Ooh, it's like a pit. Uh, ooh! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's gonna take a while. What is wrong with this pan? This pan is gross! Oh, no. Oh, no. oh I came over, came over there to wash the pan. Cause, you know, we gotta wash the pan. But, how long does brown rice take to cook? 35 to 40 minutes? Screw that. How about beans? 30 to 45 minutes? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I have a tendency of like making way too much food. So like I'm gonna try to like not make way too ah! try to not like make way too much food, like you know, like because like too much food, like way too much food is like it's gonna just sit and it's gonna go bad. You don't want that to happen. But, like it's vegan food, so it's like it's like objectively better, so like, I'm sure if you put vegan in the front of the name of it, it's probably gonna like, it's probably gonna like last longer or something like that. Like, I don't know, I don't care. You know, I just know that I'm treating my better, my body better than you. <laughs> so like, I'm just like doing this in my kitchen, right? And, like, people probably be like, what the hell is this guy doing? He's making all sorts of noise and he's talking to himself. We should probably admit him to, like, the mental uh, hospital. Because, like, oh, uh, yeah. You know? You know, like, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, you know, you probably think oh, I'm a weirdo right now. And it's not cool, you know? You know, they're banging on the, on the fucking walls. Might be me. I don't know. But, you know, brown rice is pretty nice, isn't it? Don't you think? I like brown Ooh. Yeah, that was the pan that I had heated up. But then I started making this retarded video. I'm sorry, not retarded. My special video. It's episode two, so, yeah. Like, the first episode was pretty bad, but, like, I figured if we, like, do an episode that's, like, has at least some of a point to be better. Like, you know, like, right? Oh, we're making a mess. 
So somebody, somebody like, okay, hold up. Somebody recommended that I make like a video of like how I make like steak like, but like, uh-uh, no, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that at all because that's like, that's like not vegan. Like steak is like the most unveganist thing ever. You know what I'm saying? That's like anti-veganism, and I'm not about that life. Mm. I don't know, like, what else are we putting in this? We got some walnuts, and we got some... Oh, right, I was going to figure out what the heck to do with this thing. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? It's like butter. It's like a lot of... Is that a lot? Tastes like a candle. It literally tastes like a scented candle. It smells like. If that makes sense. I've never tried to eat, like, a scented candle before. Well, I probably have. But it tastes like a coconut scented scented oil. Or scented candle. Would smell like, but it tastes like that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is working out, like, way better than expected. Way better. It's great. Oh, yeah. Shaken, not soft, stirred, or whatever. Okay, we're just gonna make some food now. Food up. Alright, guys, so, like, hold up. I got some bottled water here because, you know, vegans shouldn't eat bottled water. Or shouldn't eat tap water, because that's, that's probably not vegan or something. I don't know. Hold up. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some uh, charger for my phone. All right, guys. Like, status update. Like, I can't find the charger for my phone. Like, so we're probably maybe not going to, like, be able to finish the, like, video. Like, but, like I can't find my charger. Guys, I'm freaking out. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it, sweet. I can't find my other one, though. I think I left it at work. Or something. Something lame. Something lame like that. Okay, guys, like, so, like, we got a status update. Like, I decided to, like, put the, put the pot on the burner, like, because, like, the, like, the closer one, so you could, like, see it, like, the, like, it's called, like, you could, like, see it, you know, like, alright. So, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so, I wonder if I put this in there, if, like, it would make it better, like, I don't know, like, we're just winging, like, it, like, you know, like, oh, yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> Hey guys, today, like, we're gonna, like, do, like, a uh, vegan ice cream review, because, like, this one's called So Delicious Dairy Free, and I got it because it said Dairy Free on it, and it's kind of mushy, to be honest, like, it melted, and ice cream's not supposed to melt, like, they're all... <laughs> They're like, um, it's already melted. Like, isn't ice cream just supposed to be frozen? Like, that's why it's called ice cream. But, like, I only get vegan ice cream because I'm vegan. And I know they're a metal for it. So, yeah. Yeah, right it. Yeah, right your tongue. It tastes like ice cream. It's a better than dairy ice cream. I know, I'm actually serious. It does taste better than regular ice cream. Dairy's trash, to be honest. Okay, so, like, we're getting back to the topic at hand. We're making some... We're making some bean stuff. And like, 
It's super vegan. Mmm. Super duper vegan. Oh yeah. Oh. That smells delicious. Dude, that's sick. I can smell the coconut a little bit, I think. I'm just smelling it. No, for real though, put the ice cream, put the rest of the ice cream in the fridge, in the freezer. That's delicious. What if I told you coconut is the best fruit? Yeah, the best fruit. What if I told you coconut is the best fruit? Yeah, the best fruit. So that was just like assorted beans, and I don't know what kind of beans they were, with some organic brown rice, like, and like, I had a ton of new coconut-based ingredients I wanted to use, so like, this is pretty hot still. I brought me some water. So I'm trying. I'm trying to like make some that tastes like you know Chinese, like Chinese rice, like Chinese fried rice. It was pretty close, and the coconut oil tastes way better. Ah, that's hot. That's really hot. The coconut oil and the coconut milk. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like there's butter in here, like salted butter. And all it took was some sea salt, and I added a little bit of garlic. I took half, I continued to boil it. The other one I sauteed because I left. I wanted to have fried rice kind of thing going on. And I tried to, I opted to try the fried rice first, and this is very good. Thank <laughs> you. 